guys, I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for December 13. And please keep in mind for that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago naman po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat. Aries, so ang mensahe ninyo for today, Aries, is number 19. We have the dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So, number 19 becomes number 10. Because 1 plus 9 is 10. And 10, there is endings and there's beginnings there. So, napakaganda because meron kang isasarang mga pinto uh, sa buhay mo at this point, Aries. Because you are making room for the new. You are welcoming newness sa buhay mo. So, napakagandang um, energy yan as you walk towards the end of the year. And you are facing the new year. So, napakaganda magsimula mag-purge ngayon so that you can make room sa buhay mo so that you can welcome uh, a new start sa kung ano mang area ng buhay mo yan. No? So, very beautiful. And we have the dog spirit here. Be loyal to what you love. So, ina-encourage kayo dito, Aries, and at the same time, nire-remind kayo ng spirit dito na be loyal to what you love. Kung ano yung gusto mong gawin, kung ano yung iyong passion, yun ang yakapin mo, no? Buong buo. Kita uman yan, kasi I feel relationship ang <laughs> ang unang-una kong nakita dito is uh, this message is for those people who have romantic relationships, yun. Also, for others of you naman, kung ano yung iyong passion, kung ano yung iyong gusto mong gawin. Kung ano ang nagpapasaya sa'yo, what makes you happy, what brings you joy, yun. Yakapin mo ng buong buo yan. Kahit ano, gaano ka kabisi, even if it, that's not what you do in your career, sa iyong trabaho, no? If that's what you love, that's what make your, your heart sing, wag mong kalimutan, no? Always find time to go back to what you love. And also, I feel that this is a reminder for uh, most of you, Aries, na maging loyal sa iyong mga kaibigan, sa mga tao na, na ano mo yun, mahal, mahalaga sa iyo, kay kapamilya mo yan, kay jowa mo yan. Pinapaalala lang sa iyo dito na mahalaga, no? Na meron tayong loyalty sa mga taong mahal natin sa mga taong nire-respeto natin sa mga taong nakakasama natin lalong-lalo na dun sa mga taong mahalaga sa atin so Aries, that's all I have for you for today I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way thank you for watching, love and light, namaste Hello Leo, I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for December 13. Please keep in mind po that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat. Leo, so tignan natin December 13. So your message for today is number 45 and we have parrot spirit here. Uh, watch your words. Leo is the message here for you. And we have number 45 which becomes number 9 and number 9 uh, resonates with endings no uh, closing doors peeling old skin yung mga ganun so i feel na mahalaga talaga yung yung endings so i really feel that there may be um an important endings no na mangyayari sa buhay ninyo dito Leo around this time dahil uh, maring yung mga bagay na yan sa buhay ninyo mga 
uh, aspeto ng buhay ninyo magtatapos na it's because it has come to its full circle or it has come to completion kung ano mga mga endeavors na yan no na mga naginawa ninyo in the past now finally magtatapos na yan maa-accomplish mo na yan that's why it's coming to an end and when there is ending, there is new beginning, which is really, really beautiful. Because as you walk towards 2023, meron ka ng uh, bagong simula, no? Sa kung ano mang area ng buhay mo yan, na merong magtatapos, na merong magsasara, merong newness, merong fresh start kang kinakaharap dito, Leo. And uh, 2023 is all about changes. It's all about transformation. So, there is endings there and there's beginnings there as well. So, parang ngayon pa lang, no, sa collective, uh, lately, yung mga readings sa December is uh, kadamihan is about transformation. It's about changes and it's about endings. So, for the collective, I feel na nagsisimula na, no, yung mga pagbabagong magaganap, yung mga pag-release ng mga uh, nakaraan na, yung pag-release ng mga hindi na kailangan sa buhay natin. I feel na nagsisimula na ngayon yun. Yung energy ng purging, ng releasing, ng letting go. Ngayon pa lang nagsisimula na yan. Bago man tayo mag-welcome mag ng bagong taon na 2023, nakapagsimula na tayong maglinis, magdetoxify, magclear ng mga negativity sa buhay natin, ng mga uh, bagay, tao, sitwasyon, mga events na hindi na natin kailangan sa buhay natin. And I feel that uh, for most of you, Leo, ganun din ang, ang ganap sa buhay ninyo. And yung mensahe ng card na to sa inyo is watch your words. So napakahalaga as we welcome at uh, the new year as so you welcome the new energies mahalaga na na maging aware tayo maging aware kayo Leo sa mga salitang nilalabas ninyo sa inyong bibig because makapangyarihan ang ating words and it starts with our thoughts diba diba sabi nga what we think is what we create no and our thoughts becomes our words and our words becomes our actions and actions becomes reality. So, kaya napakahalaga na positive lang ang ating iniisip, no? Positive mindset lang tayo so that yun din ang magawa natin. Yun din ang action na gagawin natin. Yun din ang action or yun din ang mga salitang lalabas sa bibig natin. It's, it's just full of positivity. So, be aware, Leo, of your uh, self-talk, no? Make sure na positive self-talk lang. Pag kinakausap natin ang sarili natin, make sure na aware ka sa iyong sinasabi, no? Yung positibo lang, yung maganda lang, yung happy lang. Because our words are powerful. Kung ano yung sinasabi natin, that is what we manifest. Kung ano yung sinasabi natin, we are prophesying that. Kaya mahalaga na nasa positibo lang tayo lagi. Lagi lang tayong mag-iisip ng positive things so that yung lalabas din sa bibig natin is positive words and yun lang din ang ma-attract natin sa buhay natin, di ba? So that is an important reminder for you sa mensaheng ito, Leo, for you are, uh, this time. So, Leo, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching Love and Light. Namaste. Hello, Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for December 13. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So, this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates po and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And naway lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat, Sagittarius. And oh, by the way, before I forget, Sagittarius, happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating your birthday today, December 13. Isang napakamaliganyang kaarawan sa inyo. This is the start of your new season. So, napakaganda. 
So yung mesahe for you today is number 36, Kui Spirit, and there is always enough. That is the reminder for you. Number 36 also becomes number 9. And number nine resonates with change. That because that resonates with endings. And when there's endings, there is beginnings, ba? So, parang yung, yung collective, no? Yung reading sa collective ni, ngayon, na mga nagawa ko, I really feel that ang daming changes, ang daming transformation. It's, uh, I think parang, ano na, nagsisimula na. Yung energy kasi ng 2023 is about, uh, transformation. It's about changes. No? So, kaya parang ngayon pa lang, December, uh, nagsisimula na. Nagsisimula na ang energy na pumasok sa, sa buhay natin dito about the changes. And sa inyo, sa buhay ninyo, Sagittarius, looks like na there are some things that is going to end. You know? It's coming to an end because maybe it has come to its full circle already. Na-complete nyo na siya. Yeah? It has come to its... Um, full cycle na, natapos nyo na kung ano man to, mga endeavors ninyo, no, uh, magtatapos na and you are facing a new beginning dito, you are facing a fresh start dito, which is really beautiful, very optimistic energy dito, so it's really beautiful because as you start the 2023 uh, nagwi-welcome din kayo sa buhay ninyo ng mga bago no, you are making room for the new dito sa pagtatapos ng 2022 and uh, it's all new pagdating ng new year so napakagandang energy nito kasi parang merong re reset button bagong taon, bagong buhay no? napaka napakaganda lang, napakagaan lang ng, ng uh, aking nararamdaman sa energy nito for you specifically and with the koi spirit no, Saj I feel that there is financial abundance there is financial abundance coming in dito, maaring ang pinagdadaanan ninyo or pinagdaanan nyo in the recent past or meron kayong pinagdadaanan recently na mga financial setbacks no maari ang iba sa inyo may ganong sitwasyon and i feel that with the number 9 coming in dito sa reading ninyo which is endings i feel that your financial setbacks is coming to an end and with the koi spirit dito i feel that yung mga pagkukulang ninyo sa pera yung mga uh, lack mindset ninyo, yung mga feeling lack ninyo, I feel that it is going to change, no? That is going to change and and you will be embracing um, abundant mindset na, no? Kasi yun ang inyong i-attract, yun na ang gusto ninyong mangyari sa buhay mo. So now you are uh, going to align yourself with abundance dito. And with, with the message dito sabi sa'yo, there is always enough. Yun ang reminder sa'yo, Saj, no? Yun ang reminder sa'yo as you welcome a 2023 dito. Ngayon pa lang, simulan mo na yung abundant mindset. Simulan mo na yung positive mindset. Be aware of what you think. Be aware of what you say na positive lang so that you can attract positive experiences, positive people, positive situations, positive lang lahat, no? Para maganda lang lahat ang takbo ng, ng pamumuhay natin. And uh, transmute that negative thoughts, no? Kung, kung ang pinagdadaanan ninyo ngayon, uh, meron kayong mga lack mindset, i-transmute nyo na yan into an abundant mindset. Kasi sinasabi nga sa inyo ng card na to na there is always enough. Hindi kulang. Walang nagkukulang. It's just us na maring hindi lang natin na mamanage ng tama. No? Yung mga kaperahan natin. Yung mga blessings na natatanggap natin. Maaring na may mismanage lang natin. Kaya sa palagay natin, kulang sila. But ang reminder sa'yo ng energy na ito is there is always enough. No, there is always enough. Kaya nga sinasabi, no, ng... Kaya nga lagi sa atin sinasabi na the, the divine universe is abundant. And each and every one of us deserves that abundance. Hindi kailangan na mag-agawan, hindi kailangan na mag-inggitan, hindi kailangan na 
malungkot because other people has this things and kunyari ikaw wala walang ganun it's just the timing too sad no uh, it's just the timing maybe yung mga meron ng ibang tao na wala ka it's because maring it's not meant for you maring uh, hindi pa yun din ang tamang panahon para magkaroon ka ng, ng bagay na yun na nakikita mo sa ibang tao maaring ganun so wag na nating pansinin wag na, na, wag na tayong mainggit sa ibang tao wag na nating bantayan ang kung ano ang meron ang ibang tao because the, the abundance of the divine universe will also be delivered to you may kanya-kanya lang tayong panahon no? Maring ang iba dyan, panahon na nila para maranasan na nila ang, ang pagiging abundant. And maaring ngayong araw, hindi yan ang araw mo na, mag, na ma-experience mo ang abundance. But you never know, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, ikaw naman ang makakaranas ng abundance. No? And I feel na yun ang ibig sabihin ng, ng mensahe na ito. Ah, para sa iyo dito, Saj. So, Saj, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading na ito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.